Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and this video is a complete Clockify tutorial for beginners. I will be showing you everything that you need to know about this time tracking app, including how you can use the calendar, the time tracking and timesheet sections, how you can add team members, how you can view reports and see how you and your team are doing with all of your projects, and everything else that you need to know. So to get started with Clockify, you can click on the top link down in the description, and it's going to take you over to this page right here. Now we can get started for free, but let's go down and let's take a look at the pricing to see what you get with all of these different plans. So there are a lot of different plans that we have access to here. We get the free time tracking plan, which gives you unlimited users, unlimited tracking. We get access to a time tracker, a sheet. We also get access to the calendar function, the mobile and desktop app, the Pomodoro timer. If you don't know what Pomodoro is, it's essentially where you have a deep work block and then you have a few minutes in between and then you jump back into a new work block. So fantastic for productivity. We also get idle detection and reminders. So if you're off track or your computer goes idle, then it is going to remind you. We also get reports, team activity, tracking integrations. And honestly, for most people, this free plan is going to be absolutely fine. So definitely start out with free. Unless you look up right here and you really see anything that you really, really need out of a time tracking software in one of these other plans. So for example, one of these might be QuickBooks integration. If you are using QuickBooks as your accounting software, then you might want to jump straight in with this 549 per month plan. But what I'm going to do just to make this more applicable for everybody is go for this free plan right here. And then we can click on try now. Then we can create our Clockify account. So just enter your email or you can continue with Google. And just like that, I am now inside of Clockify. So we have this quick tutorial right here. And in here, this is where we can actually start using Clockify to track our time. Now, the first thing that we actually want to do is before we go in here and start tracking anything is we need to set up the projects and the clients that we are working with. So to do this, let's go over to projects in this bottom left corner. And as you can see, we have a default project right here. So let's just go ahead and archive this and get rid of it. So that's now archived and we want to go up here and create a new project. So it really depends when we are creating projects, what you want to be tracking and what you are going to be using Clockify for. For example, you might just be using this to track your time and make sure that you are as productive as possible. That's one use for this. Or alternatively, you might be using this to track how long you are spending on client projects so that you are able to build them effectively and you can show how much work you have been doing for them. So as an example, if I was just using this to track my time and I'm not using this for any client work, what I might do is enter in the project name of like a YouTube video or YouTube recording. So I'm recording YouTube videos and then I just simply wouldn't select a client right here. We can then choose the color that we want to associate this to. So let's just leave this as blue and then we can click on create. As we can see, YouTube recording is now going to show up right here. Alternatively, if you are using this for your client work, then we can create a new project. And in here, it's going to ask us to select a client. So we can select client and then any clients that we have previously been working with. Henry is just showing up from, if you remember the one that we had here by default, right here, test Henry. But we can go in and we can create a new client. So let's say, for example, that we are working with Apple. We can type in Apple right here. And because we don't already have a client created that is called Apple, well, we can create it right here by simply clicking on control and enter. As you can see, Apple is now created right there. Once again, we can set the color that is specified to this project or client, and then we can enter in a project net. So let's say for this, we have an advertising campaign with Apple. So in here, I can type in Apple advertising campaign and then click on create. As you can see, that is now going to be created. Now that we have some projects created, let's go back over to the time tracker. And this is where we can actually start tracking time. So what we are first of all going to do is go up and select the project that we are working on. So let's say that right now I am working on this Apple advertising campaign. We can click into create task right here. And let's say that I am going to be editing this video. So in here, we can type in video editing and save. And then we can see that this task is now video editing. So I'm just going to go right here. And once again, where are you working? What are you working on? We will call this video editing. And now all we have to do is simply go right here 
and click on start. This is going to start my timer. And as you can see, Clockify is now going to be tracking me. So I can either open up a new tab, I can go about my day and I can start doing this work for the company. And then once we come back, and this is only 16 seconds, but obviously if I was working on a project, it would be longer. Then all we would have to do is click on stop right here. And as you can see, that has now been tracked. We have now stopped that. And as we can see, this shows up under this week, today, and then Apple advertising campaign. It's going to show how long we worked. And then in here, we can enter in the time. So right now it's 10.45. So we can just go in here and type in like 10.45 to, well, 10.45. And then that's going to show up right there. So that is the specific time tracker, but there may be times where you either forget to open up Clockify, you forget to track, something goes wrong with this, or you just want to enter in your tracking manually. Well, to do this, we can come up to timesheet right here. And we can enter in the time and how long we worked in a manual way. Let's say that we went out there and we recorded some videos. So this is video editing, but I'm going to select project, then go Apple advertising campaign, and we can create a task. And now this task is going to be content curation. So we can enter that in, click on save. And as you can see, we now have Apple advertising campaign. This is video editing, and this is content curation. And then let's say today that I spent seven hours on this. I can just enter that in right there, seven hours, and then it's going to pop up. So I can see I spent seven hours and 21 seconds today on the combined two of them. And now that we have set these up, so we have video editing and content curation. Well, all we need to do now is simply go in and we can just fill this out manually. So let's say that tomorrow I spent another four hours on this. We can enter that in right there. And then we can see the time that was spent each day in total. We can see the total time spent on this project. So seven plus four is obviously 11 hours. And we can see the time spent on each project on each day set right here. So this is this week, but let's say that we want to go back to last week. Well, we can change that right there. And once again, we just set this up. So we can either go Apple advertising campaign and choose from one of these tasks right here, either the content curation or the video editing, or we can create a new task. Alternatively, if you want to create an entirely new project with a new client, you can do this right here. However, I don't recommend to do this as it makes things a little more confusing. Just do what we originally did, go to projects, and this is where you want to create like your overall project. And then in the timesheet, this is where we can create the individual backend tasks like the content curation and video editing. We also have a calendar view. So if we go over to the calendar right here, we can see everything that we have planned out right here. So if I just go back, I can see Tuesday, the 18th of January, we have seven hours planned out right here because that's what we inputted right here. Tuesday, 18th of January, seven hours. And then we have four hours on the Wednesday. So if I go back to calendar, we will see this right here. So what we can do on the calendar is we can start moving things around. If we want to move things around right here, that's going to be moved. And then we can also add in time and data entries right here. So let's say tomorrow, 12 p.m. on Tuesday the 18th, I'm going to click on this. And then let's select the project right here and let's go YouTube recording. So we can select that right there. Then we can go for a description. And I will just say that this is a Clockify tutorial. And then we can say that this is set from 11 to 12. We can choose the date. We can choose the time, the hours, all of that good stuff right there. So let's say this is going to take two hours. And this is going to go from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Cool. Then we can click on add. And just like that, we can see YouTube recording Clockify tutorial is going to show up. And if I go back over to my timesheet, this is automatically going to show up right there. So all of these are automatically synced. They are basically just different views and different perspectives on the same data. So personally, I prefer to use the calendar. It's just the layout that I use day to day. However, the time tracker is going to be most handy for when you need to individually track time. And then the timesheet kind of gives you an over meta analysis. So you can clearly see here how much time you have spent on each task, the total time that you have spent. But day to day to get things done, I use the calendar perspective. We can then go down to dashboard right here. And this is just once again going to show us the same data in a different viewpoint. So essentially we can see that the total time that we have worked is 13 hours. If we were to add all of this up right here, that would come to 13 hours. The top project that we have been working on is Apple advertising campaign. And then the top client is Apple. 
we can then see it through the different days how much we have been working on so on Wednesday right here we can see we spent four hours on this Apple advertising campaign but if I was to go into calendar right here let's just move this along and then we go back right here we can see we now spent this day working on two different projects and that's going to show up we then have a pie chart that shows us where our time has been allocated. So we can see over this 13 hours, 11 hours have been spent on the Apple advertising campaign or 84.62% of total time. And then YouTube recording is two hours or 15.38%. So that's this week. We can also toggle between different team members. So if you add team members in, which I will show you how to do, so you can have multiple people tracking inside of Clockify. Well, you can switch this to the team view and it's not only going to show you what you have been working on and what your hours have been, but it's also going to show you everybody right here and what everybody has been working on. We can also go over to reports, which is just going to show us more data. We can see the total amount of time, how much time is billable, the projects that we have been working on and all of that good stuff. So it's basically the same data. The difference in the reporting section is we can filter this. So we can filter this by users and see what specific users have been doing. So um, if you're the owner, you might have a particular team member and you can click in here and you can filter to them, apply filter and see specifically what they have been doing. We can then also go to specific clients. So if we look at Apple right here, we can see just Apple, we spent 11 hours. These are the dates and times that we have been working. We can then go and filter this by project. And this is really where you can take a deeper dive into the data. You can start filtering things through and really narrow down into exactly what you and your team have been doing. We have already covered projects. So projects is just where you come in and we can create new projects and add clients right here. Clients is similar to project, but this is just if you want to add a new client. So for example, I could come in here and just say that this is like a, a coffee client, just like that and then add this. And essentially all this is going to do is it just means that when I create a new project, well, that client is now just going to show up right here instead of me having to create one by doing this. So it just makes it a little bit easier. I don't really see much of a point in adding clients. And I just add all of my clients to specific projects in this project section. Now under teams, this is where you can actually add different team members to join you on Clockify. So to add a new member, we just come into team click on add full member right here and then we can enter in the email address of the person that we would like to add so i could go in here and just type in this person's email address and then what it's going to look like make sure this is on send an invite email very very important because when we click add what it's going to look like from the employee or the team members perspective is they will be sent an email so if i just go over to the email of this team member that i just invited it's going to look like this. It's going to say they invited you to use Clockify. And then all they have to do is click on accept invite, set up their account, and they will be added into your team. And then they will be able to see all of this. They will be able to track their own time and they will be a member of your team on Clockify. So we can see all of the team members right here. We can add a billable rate. So let's say for this email right here, this person, we can first of all go to billable rate. And let's say that this person is going to be given $10 per hour. So we can type in 10 right here. And then this is going to be $10 per hour. We can then add a role. So on the free plan, the only version is admin, but we can add that right there. And then you can also group people together. So let's say, for example, that we have a bigger team. This is only really going to be relevant if you have a bigger team. But what we might want to do is if we go to projects, we might want to have a specific team for YouTube recording and a specific team for this Apple advertising campaign. So we can set this up in team. What we can do is we can go right here to both of these email addresses, add this group, and then let's create a new group. So this one is going to be called the Apple group. And then we can do control and enter to add this. And they are now part of the Apple group. We can go in here and set this to, let's just set YouTube recording, just like that, then shift and enter. And then this person is now going to be set to YouTube recording. Let's take him out of test group. And we now have the groups right here. So we can go into groups and we can see all of the groups that we currently have. This one seems pretty pointless. I'm actually going to remove this. But we now have Apple group and YouTube recording. And then we can see who has access and who is involved in each group. 
Then the final thing that we are going to cover in this Clockify tutorial is just some of the back end settings that you can set up. So what we can do is we can go to your profile icon in this top right corner and then click on my profile. And in here, you can change your name. So we might want to just go in here and change the name. You can then change your profile photo. You can change your password and your email in this area. And then once this is set up, we also may want to go into preferences. This is where you can choose the theme for Clockify. I definitely prefer dark. We can change the language if you want to change the language as well. We can change the date and time settings. And then you can also set up different email notifications. So in here, you can basically choose which email notifications you want on. Sometimes this can get a little bit annoying. So if you do see any emails that you don't want, you might just want to come in here and turn off certain ones. So that is my Clockify tutorial. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.